Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as we play a, you know what, hold on. I just thought of something. We're gonna need the worst outfit and the worst gun for this character, which is the worst of the starting, well, it's actually a really good starting character, but he's one of the worst of the starting characters if you consider his starting gun, because this run of Gungeon, this special challenge run edition of Gungeon on Friday the 13th, 2023, January, is gonna be the worst of the worst. It is everything I hate about Gungeon. I'm going to look at the Ammonomicon. I'm gonna look at all the items, and I'm not gonna rate everything, but I am gonna tell you what is bad, and we're gonna use those guns for a Gungeon run. For example, Boxing Glove. I don't like Boxing Glove, so why don't I give myself the Boxing Glove, and that'll be one of the guns in our run. Additionally, I don't like Shell -a Gun. Let's give ourselves the shell -a gun and that'll be one of the guns for our run. I'm gonna just do it all immediately instead of doing it like once per floor just so that we can get it out of the way. As for why I don't like these guns, I'll tell you, tell you in a minute. We have plenty of time on this run to, uh, to identify why things are actually bad. Bow and Charmed Bow. You know what, I think Bow is better, so let's give ourselves the Charmed bow, which I think is terrible. Uh, Clob is bad, but it's a bad gun, not a bad item. And by that I mean it's not just like bad, like detrimental to your run. There's not a lot of guns that are themselves just bad. Like wind-up gun's okay. You know what? Turbo gun is bad, and I don't like it, and I don't ever want to use it, so let's add it to the list. We'll, we'll take turbo gun and we'll talk about why Guns are bad. You know what? Grass Chopper is real bad. I don't know why that, that changed pages there. Phoenix Teapot. You know what? Gunslinger's Ashes is pretty bad, but like it's actually passable as an item. Everything else here I kind of like. Even Freeze Ray, Plunger, Fossilized Gun. Wood Beam is uh, bad, but it's also like kind of good. Uh, I think Trick Gun is really bad. You know what? Tearjerker. That is a bad gun. We can absolutely give, give ourselves the tearjerker. And, uh, oh dude, life orb. Life orb is so bad. <laughs> There's a lot of bad, oh, third party controller. There's a lot of bad guns in Gungeon, but none of the bad guns in Gungeon are very strong. Ignarts welcome says, sup, welcome to the bad run of Enter the Gungeon. Uh, as far as passives go, or actives, uh, I think that, like, Cluster Mine is bad, so let's give ourselves the Cluster Mine, which I think is real bad. What else is bad? I mean, there's a lot of bad things. Um, I mean, I think that Melted Rock is bad, but we already have an active item. I think that Fortune's Favor can be bad. Katana Bullets can be bad, but I, I always take it because it's at least interesting. Uh, None of these are particularly bad. I know, I know I'm just, I keep saying the word bad. I like, I don't like speed upgrades. You know what, let's give ourselves all the speed upgrades. It'll be, um, Bionic Leg, Shotgun, Cola, give Shotgun Coffee, and then give Ballistic Boots, and then also give the Chloranthi Ring, so we have all of the dodge and speed upgrades, so I, which I think are bad. We can give ourselves, you know what I think is really bad? Ring of Mimic Friendship. I think that's real bad. We can give ourselves that easily. Uh, what else is bad? You know, what are the worst of the worst items? You know what, I never remember Spring Hill Boots, but I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I, I'm just dumb and very forgetful. Um, so what else is bad? Super Hot Watch is real bad, but I think that that would actually give me a headache if I used it. So I'm gonna asterisk that one and say we're not gonna do that one. You know what? Give myself Table Tech Rocket. I think that's bad. Um, oh, and of course, who could forget the Bloodied Scarf, one of the worst items in the entire game. So there's all of our bad items taken care of. Everything else is at least like somewhat good. There you go. There's, a, there's the list of what I would say are some of the worst items in the absolute game here. 
This is our run. All of the bad stuff. Now the, the speed upgrades, you could say that they're actually like pretty okay, but I guess I don't even have a dodge roll. I just have like a weird blink that <laughs> is real bad. <laughs> that, a blink that doesn't work when I'm up against a wall. So this is our run. Let's play a bad run of Gungeon, okay? Oh my God, it's actually incredibly fast. Which, which again, could be a good thing, but is almost always a bad thing to be this fast. But now that I think about it, it's probably worse to be slow and then have the blink. So I'm actually gonna alter the deal. I'm gonna get rid of all the speed upgrades and the Chloranthe ring. We're just gonna have Bloodied Scarf, which already interrupts my normal dodging patterns. There we go. Just in case you think it's too easy. Oh Lord. You also said Gungeon Pepper says Milt Thompson. The pepper can be bad, but I don't think the pepper is worth worrying about. Like the pepper is is bad, but is not terrible. These are all the items I, in the game that I think are actually terrible. And before I start explaining myself and telling you why the items are actually bad, well, other than some of them just being bad, <laughs> Yes, this is also just a very easy way of, you know, allowing me to talk about something for, you know, the first 30 minutes of the run or something like that, where I can just easily, easily, easily have like a stream of consciousness, consciousness around bad items. Lord. Let me catch up on, on what's happening in chat. For instance, Names Taken says, I can't stay for long, I'm at work. Subscribe to Abe on YouTube. You know what? Someone's vying for VIP, but also have a good day, names taken. Oh my God, the table flips. So why are these items bad? Well, we'll start with the one that we have right now. I'm not gonna open chests. The gloves. I think this is a pretty bad item. It's cursed, which is already a negative, but it's very limited range. It's good damage and good stunning, but it's just a little too situational for me to really enjoy it, and um, I would find myself taking more damage as a result of using this because it's so close range. Now, I do use Casey all the damn time, but Casey at least one-shots thing, things. This doesn't. It's random stunning. But maybe... Uh, why are you not even attacking that enemy? <laughs> why are you not hitting that enemy? So I don't, I don't like it. It's... Probably also better than I give it credit for. How about the shell gun? Why is the shell gun bad? Well, the shell gun's beam is absolutely terrible. And when you do a weapon swap into the beam, it doesn't fire immediately until you release the mouse button and then press it again. I can't tell you how many times I, I complain about that, although if you watch me playing into the Gungeon, you probably know how often I complain about that. I think the shell gun is complete trash. Charmed bow. Does very little damage. Uh, sometimes stuns enemies, sometimes doesn't. Is not particularly high damage, is not particularly good. Turbo gun. I hate giving myself carpal tunnel by reloading this gun constantly, so I think turbo gun is also pretty bad. These, these are all, by the way, items where if I find these items on a normal run, they're getting sold, they're getting gun munched. These are not things that I would choose to have on a run. These are things that I would choose to get rid of, which is why I feel like starting with them is kind of interesting. Grass Chopper? I mean, here's the thing. Grass Chopper is kind of okay, but why am I, why am I reloading so fast? Oh, I took damage because of another bad item. Uh, but it's like, slow, it doesn't do a lot of damage, you, like it doesn't even kill a bullet kin on floor two in one shot, so its ammo is just like completely trash. Tear Jerker is bad just because it doesn't shoot straight. This isn't Isaac, this is Gungeon, it's a different game. I think that's pretty bad. Uh, Life Orb is like extremely bad. Might actually be like one of the worst weapons in the game. I think part of the reason why I dislike Life Orb is because it is unable to target a specific enemy. If there's like three enemies around you, a bullet kin in front of your face, and then a shotgun kin on the edge of the screen, Life Orb is gonna be like, hey, you wanted to attack the shotgun kin, right? No, 
No life orb. You are not attacking the right enemy. And it doesn't care. It, it won't care. It will just go after whatever it wants. Because life orb targets the enemy on the screen with the highest health, which is almost always the wrong target. You want to kill the things that are weak to simplify the room. It is garbage. And then third party controller is just like, whenever I get this in like a BCDD 20T run, I just, I wanna die. <laughs> I like walking enemies into pits, but this, this is just trash. So out of all these trash guns, here's the problem. They're all bad. I don't really know what to use. But it's probably shell a gun and the gloves. The like actual shots out of uh, out of shell a gun. Like the bullets are not that bad, but the beam is just like I don't I don't want to deal with that. Shoot! <laughs> like the gun won't shoot. Camel B12, welcome. Abe with the bloodied scarf, I think I'm in a fever dream. Fort Mahler says hi, hello. Now, we haven't even talked about the freaking, uh, like, passive items we have or anything like that. I don't know, charm bow? At this point, I just don't want to use ammo in better bad guns. Uh, let's start with bloodied scarf. Bloodied scarf is terrible. <laughs> bloodied scarf, oh, good. This is the run where I get a freaking black market. Bloodied Scarf is terrible. Um, the fact that it turns your dodge roll into a blink on paper is not bad. The problem is, A, it's bad, but also the problem is it um, turns your dodge from a mouse down to a mouse up. By holding down the mouse button, you actually get this outline of a character that you can warp to by releasing the mouse button. The problem is that that takes time down up, down up. And then if you're trying to make a very quick dodge, that little bit of time is actually gonna get you killed or get you hit. So when I got hit on the on the first floor boss against, um, against, uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> what's his name being the boss, Bullet King? I got hit on Bullet King because I, wanted to dodge a split second before I dodged, but because of the blink scarf, it dodged a little bit late. There's a little delay in your dodge, which makes it harder to actually make the dodge. Um, what else? Table Tech Rocket. Table Tech Rocket sucks. You can hit yourself with it. Like if you, if you stand in front of a table, oh, come on. If you stand in front of a table and you flip it, it'll hurt you. If you're in, up against a wall, it'll hurt you. That's a terrible item. And then I didn't even, didn't even think about Cluster Mine, but Cluster Mine is pretty trash too. Why would I want a uh, an item that can blow me up? Again, this thing can damage you. And then what else? Uh, freaking uh, Ring of Mimic Friendship, that's a bad item. Literally makes your run worse when you have it. The only reason why this is, you know what? Never mind. there is no reason why it's good. It has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. It's the worst item in the game. <laughs> Like, Bloodied Scarf, there are people, there are uh, Bloodied Scarf apologists out there who are like, actually, it's a pretty good item. They don't know what they're talking about, but they still say that regardless. Freaking, uh... Ring of Mimic Friendship almost ha actually is detrimental in any situation, except for, like, you're on bullet hell. Although I guess, in theory, it is also okay to have if you're on the, the dragon floor, but other than that... So yeah, th those these are the worst items I think exist in the game. And I've got all of them. <laughs> are you allowed to use Tearjerker on the Black Marcus's Camel B12? I'm not, I'm not taking any other items. These are, these are things that I consider to be some of the worst items in the game because of effects or just awkwardness of using it, which is why I, I find that the shell gun is actually pretty bad. I find it to be extremely awkward to use because the beam is terrible 
And so you have to reload the gun twice to just use it as a pistol temporarily? That doesn't seem that good. Cool 29 Welcome says, worst item is Gunther. Worst item is Gunther because uh, I keep calling it Gunther instead of Gunther. <laughs> Although it's, it's, it's supposed to be Gunther. That's the joke. That's the joke. I think. I don't know why I decided to explore the floor, but there you go. Um, let's just punch the boss. Oh, good. <laughs> Tried to punch the boss and I got shot. I mean, I can't blame the game for that one. That's definitely on me. Oh my god. Just just use Life Orb. Its damage actually doesn't seem that bad against a single target. Um. Just keep, keep sucking their life up. Oh, it doesn't even want to target that other enemy. Please. At least it's a beam. It give, gives us beam positives. B, B positive. B, B, B positive. I need a new gun. I don't have a new gun. Th these are my guns. <laughs> On floor two, I'm like, oh, please give me something else. I have nothing else to be given. You know what? There you go. Eat it. Well, <laughs> down to the next floor. Down to the next floor. Still in a bad run. I gotta blank more, but I keep, I keep getting hit in stupid fashions. And also, um, where's the freaking ammo in this run? No ammo has dropped yet. Yeah, there's definitely uh, bad guns in the game. You know, Clob is not a good gun. Good gun. Derringer, it's not a good gun. Pea Shooter, it's not a good gun. But these are like bad, actively bad slash make your run worse when you have them. You know what, get punched. I'll admit though that out of all of these bad guns, the 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 glove is not actually terrible. It's it's I don't like it. Oh my god. Okay, ammo. I don't like it, but it's it, it could be worse, let's say. <laughs> but there, so there's a, there's another reason by the way to do this run. The other reason to do this run is because maybe I just need a little bit more experience with some of these items. Like look at that, I just knocked an enemy into a pit. Well yeah, that that's kind of, that's third party controller for you. I still don't think it's good, but maybe I, maybe I just need a little bit of practice with some of this stuff. That's the, uh, the rat floor, I can see it. Oh come on, <laughs> you hit me? Dick. You know what? It's like the explosion doesn't happen where the table's located, it happens where the table intersected an enemy. Which doesn't make any sense. What if the glo glove had infinite range? Well, then it would be really good. Wildlife friend, welcome. Um, so let's see. Let's at least partially charge up the Turbo gun. <laughs> At this point, I am also thinking to myself, let me just use the the worst guns until I run out of ammo and then I can use something else. My hand is already hurting from using turbo gun. You know, there's a reason why I didn't give myself uh, a weapon like the uh, alien engine. I think alien. Oh, I think alien engine is actually like okay. Casey, especially Casey, is fantastic. I would take Casey and use it on any run. So let's see. All right. 
Relatively high level turbo gun helped out. My dodge didn't work because I was up against the wall. That's another reason, by the way, why um, Bloodied Scarf is terrible. Not only does Bloody Scarf have that little bit of a delay, it also doesn't work when you're up against the wall. You can't dodge roll in place. Wartmaller says, if you don't pick up other items, you'll stay with the garbage guns. Oh my God. That's kind of the point though. The point of this run is I'm gonna play a run of Gungeon with what I consider to be the worst items in the game. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Either I'll learn to love all this stuff or it's still gonna be bad. I think at this point it's still gonna be bad, but maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll learn to like some of these weapons. I'm gonna take the ammo for the Life orb, I think, because it's it actually does seem kind of okay for bosses. But I think I have to use the glove for the room fights. Well, my dodge roll came out a little bit too late on that one. I mean, I'm, we might just die on this floor. I certainly hope we don't, but it is possible. What created all those bullets over there? You know what? This seems like the opportunity to do this. Just hide. I need to go get the HP. I also like desperately need to get a flawless, so I am I'm going all in. This is all good items. That's why we can't take it. We can't take any good items on this run. Wildlife friend says, is this game a roguelite? If you've never played freaking Gungeon before, welcome. And you'll never leave. Max Space 28, welcome. I just got Cormorant, I'm so excited. I got three pieces of the Cormorant set yesterday on a run in which I had three clones. I'm uh, kind of upset at the game. But I don't know what I expect from Gungeon. That's just what I should expect from Gungeon at this point. Dun, 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 dun. Also, Seagus Jr., welcome. How are you doing today? Why can I not teleport over there? Like, it really just doesn't like me in this little hallway here. Oh, there's my little uh, ghost friend. Which one's the real one? Which one's the fake? I like that there's also the sound effect of him walking. <laughs> oh, thanks! Thanks, bloodied scarf. Oh my God, I hate that item. There's another flawless that it cost me. Jesus. I just, I just hate it. <laughs> This is like the prequel to me actually doing a uh, a Gungeon item rate video. I need to I need to ensure that my original analysis of items is actually correct and that the bad things are are still bad. But when you teleport, you get a little bit of an of an ore around you which breaks bullets. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> if it still causes you to get hit. That doesn't make it good just because it can break a couple of bullets on the screen. You see how many bullets are on the screen right now? If I get rid of a couple of these, I still have a bit of a problem. Just get out of here. Seekers Jr. says, what is the challenge today? Bad items is the challenge. Compared to the items that we have, Blasphemy is a good item. <laughs> I have so many blanks, but again, like I keep, I keep getting hit in stupid ways, which is actually costing me the uh, the flawlesses. Ah. <laughs> da, 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 da. So yeah, if I if I ever needed a run to completely sap my desire to ever play Gungeon again, this is the run. Now will that happen? I mean, probably not, but you never know. Maybe I'll just be, you know turn into an Isaac streamer from now on. Hey, 50 credits. From now on every day, it's just gonna be Isaac. 
Today on episode 937 on this Isaac series, we're gonna try to get our uh, Eden streak up. We're on three. Hold on, you know what? I think I have to like drop this gun. I'm not going to, because this is like the only thing on this run that's actually like keeping me sane. Out of all the weapons that we have, this is the one that's actually not terrible, though. And I stand by that. This this punch glove is the only thing I think that is good on this run right now. We also have been very bad at actually getting um, ammo on this run so far. I'm not going to say that the damage from this gun is good, but... I guess you could say it's good enough, right? No, 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 no. If it's good, I guess that means I, it's gotta go, says Mud. If it's good, it's gotta go. Please, teleport. Not getting hit at the teleport location is a bare minimum that something like Scarf should do. Well, like, when you tell... I don't even think you need the ability on the Bloodied Scarf to break bullets on destination. I rarely get hit, when I'm using Bloodied Scarf that is, I don't get hit on destination because I can dodge around bullets, that's the whole point. I get hit on, on launch, I get hit because it takes a second before it actually teleports me because I have to, uh... I have to press down and press up on the mouse and that takes like a fraction of a second and when I'm just kind of... Oh, I just wasted my punch. When I'm not thinking about it, it costs me. It costs me the hits. Oh, well. I did just kind of walk into that enemy. You know what I would love? There you go. Kill them. Wouldn't Master Rounds be considered good items? I, I will still pick up a Master Round should I manage to get a Flawless on this run, because I think I deserve it. <laughs> the real question is what happens, oh my god. What happens if we get a, uh, a Wallmonger fight? Will I be able to kill the Wallmonger before it crushes me is the question. I don't know, maybe Charmed Bow for a little while? If it charms an enemy, it can be okay, but that's not thats not enough of a value. Why why spend the time charming an enemy when like the regular bow could kill him, kill him in one shot, you know? That's a second red chest on the run. Two red chests and a black market. This is how you know I'm invested. This is how you know I don't pull any shenanigans, you know? There's no be behind the scenes editing happening here. You're getting it live, because if there was, I'd be like, you know what, this is a normal run now. We're gonna take all these red items and, and nonsense. I don't want to explore anymore. I just wanna fight the boss and be done with this floor. Now, hopefully, it's kill pillars, and we can use maybe life orb. I don't know. Oh my god, thank you. I don't even know if Life Orb will work. Like, will it take the health of the enemy and then do that damage to the other enemies, or is it gonna be afflicted by the damage cap or something? Like, we might as well just give it a shot, right? I'm gonna have to dodge in a second. So right here. It still is getting the same kill pillar, which is nice. He's almost dead. He'll, he'll die. I'm out of ammo! Oh my god, I got hit there too because of the... I died. Because <laughs> the tel the scarf didn't teleport me because I was up against the wall. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad. I'm glad I died there. I think it's just a, a, a proof, a, a va uh, validation of my own opinions on Gungeon, 
that these are probably some of the worst items in the entire game, including Table Tech Rocket, where when you flip the table, it hurts you, and Bloodied Scarf that doesn't work half the time. If you're up against a wall, it doesn't give you any iframes because it doesn't blink, and then when you try to hit the button, it takes a split second, so you get hit by the bullet that's right in front of your face anyways. I hate these items. There's a reason why I don't take them. If you've ever wanted to know why, this is your TLDR. They're bad. Not even Abe can win a run with freaking bloodied scarf. Although, again, I know that there's people who love this item. How? How do you like this item? I don't understand. Your brain needs to be studied by a group of scientists and doctors. We need the, the genetic mapping of your body so we can understand how you have that opinion. Because it's so wrong. <laughs> Goodbye.